All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to add icons to these red circles in our Google sidebar. We're going to use an app called Iconzy. It's an icon pack utility for Android. And the guy that made this, he's well known in the Google G Plus KLWP community, Arun Kumar. Sorry if I did not pronounce that correctly, but he actually has quite a few apps on the Play Store. Truly brilliant mind. Check them out. Check out this app called Iconzy. What's so good about it? Well, first of all, it works directly with KOWP, KWGT, and KLOCK. Full integration. Also, the app is free with minor ads, but go ahead and support the guy. Pay what you want model, buy him a cup of coffee, buy him a hot dog, buy him a house. And also over on his Google Plus page, he has several communities, custom stuff, tasker stuff. If you check out some of his work, his animations, it's brilliant stuff. It really is. So um, yeah, kudos to him for making such a great app. And now let me show you how to use it. Diving right into this sidebar, let's head to this circle right here. So that's going to be inside of our stack group, row one. Inside of that row one, we have a stack group with a circle that we've created earlier, this red circle. Head over to FX, set the texture to bitmap. Then for pick image, let's apply code. And inside of here, once you download Iconzy, you're going to have that Iconzy logo right here. Let's tap on that. And if this is the first time you have loaded up Iconzy, you're not going to see these icons. Iconzy allows you to search for icons. It's truly amazing. Check it out. Press plus. Let's search for icons. I want to add some type of mail icon. So I'm typing in mail. What it's doing is it's searching through all the icon packs on my device. I'm just going to tap on some random mail icon. I'm going to do this one right here. Click on pick. It will automatically add it right here. So it's the newest icon that I've just added. What it also did is it actually saved it to our device. I'm going to show you that in a second. But for now, let's tap on that icon, let's use with custom, and it's going to put the code in there that it needs to put. And basically it's accessing that PNG file where it's saved on our device. It's saved on my internal storage, custom icons, icons, and then it's going to do that PNG file. Press and check on that. Now we have a red email icon. Now, that red icon is not the same thing as this red. Remember, that icon just happened to be red. So let's go ahead and go to touch. And what happens when we touch this icon? I want it to open an app. So for single action, launch app, let's search for the email app that we want to open. In my case, that will be Gmail. And I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and go back and let's go to row two and let's do it one more time to make sure we have this. Row two, I'm trying to access this one now. Stack group, circle, we had the circle selected. FX, texture bitmap. Apply the code to pick image. Let's go to Iconzy and let's search for Play Store. I'm going to use this icon here. This is the Stealthy Chief Google Play icon. So I'm going to pick that, tap on it, use with custom, check it. Now we have that icon there. Let's go to touch. Let's open an app and let's open the Play Store. So let's save this. Let's go back to the home screen. And now we have those two icons there. If I tap on the Play Store, for example, it will open the Play Store. And if I tap on this one, it should open my Gmail. So you can go through and add icons to all of these. Now, I'm not going to set a touch to these. So if you pick up part four, there's a few things I want you to listen to very carefully here. If you pick up part four, which is going to include these icons, when you go and load that up, these icons are not going to show. And that is because inside of our internal storage, whenever we add an icon using Iconzy, it's going to save it in custom icons, icons folder. And if I scroll down to the bottom of this, these are the two most recent icons that I've added. But that's just based on how I have my file sorted in this folder. So hopefully you do recognize those two there. All these other icons you see here are the ones that I used in the original Google sidebar that I showed you back in the Google sidebar introduction video. With that said, we can go ahead and add icons for these five right here as well and even the bottom one. But what I had in my original Google sidebar, these three opened some type of app. This icon at the bottom opened up the settings for my Android device. And then these five in here actually animated some more icons out. So when I add these icons to these five, I don't want those particular five to open an app here. 
I actually want to trigger an animation and that's what we're going to cover in probably the next part or sometime in the near future on how we get those extra icons to slide out on these rows. And there you have it, Iconsy, the icon pack utility for Android. You can search for icons quickly. It'll save them as PNG images to your device. And yeah, it just manages it so well. And also what I like about it is that it works nicely with KLWP. You can access it from directly within the app. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.